Hey, welcome back to the shop. My name is John, you're watching Apprentice Marks, and in this video, I'm gonna build a couple of standing height workbenches. Let's get to it. I built these workbenches for a local startup called CNC Labs. They make a microwave-sized desktop CNC router that's really cool. In exchange for these benches, they're gonna give me a CNC machine that I can use here in the shop. Expect a review of it in an upcoming video. Most of the joinery on this bench is really simple, just butt joints with 3 inch wood screws. Workshop furniture tends to get beat to shit, and screws make it really easy to repair or modify a piece as necessary without tearing the entire thing down. So when I was affixing the top to this frame here, I noticed that uh, it's a little bit out of square. This, this two by four here, the edge of this is supposed to line up with the edge of this plywood here. And this gap from the end of this two by four to the start of this one, that's supposed to be three and three quarters of an inch. But uh, when I throw a measure tape on there, it's actually more like three and a sixteenth instead of three and three quarters. So it's way the fuck out. I'm gonna have to take the two uh, screws that affix this out, back them out, and see if we can push this in so that it fits the way it's supposed to. Remember what I said about glue? It's almost like I knew that I was gonna fuck something up along the way. The joinery on the legs is a little bit different. Here I've used half lap joints with glue and screws. The idea is to add strength to them because the legs act as big levers, so there's a lot of rotational force where they meet the bench. These workbenches can be taken apart, making them easy to transport. Each of the pieces is attached with 3 8 inch carriage bolts, and all the hardware is the same, so the whole thing can be taken apart or put back together with a single 9 16 inch socket driver. These leg braces weren't a part of the original plan, but I needed to add them to stop the benches from wobbling from side to side. I think the battery's dead on this sucker. Oh yeah, she's dead. The backboard of each workbench is covered with pegboard, so there's a convenient way to hang up commonly used hand tools.
I use the trim router that'll become a part of my CNC machine to round over all the edges of the benches that people might come into contact with. The work surface was sanded down with 120 and 220 grit sandpaper and was sealed with two coats of white bomb polyurethane. I used some steel wool in between the coats to make sure that the surface was smooth. If these benches ever get damaged, it's easy to sand down or replace the entire work surface. for this project. Uh, the finished benches came up really close to the diagrams that they gave me when they asked me to build the project. So I hope they can put them to good use for making really cool, affordable CNC mills for everyone. I also hope that I get my CNC mill soon. Expect a comprehensive review when that arrives. In the meantime, if you want to see more of what I'm up to, you can always follow me here on YouTube. There's a like button and a subscribe button and a notification bell and you know, whatever else down below. And in between projects, you can keep an eye on what I'm doing over on Twitter and Instagram, where you'll find me at ApprenticeMarks. Thanks very much for tuning in. Cheers.